Hi, I'm Father Jonathan Meyer from All Saints Parish. To quote a movie from a few decades back, branches? We don't need no stinking branches. Palm Sunday is here in just a few days, and the reality is, is that, brothers and sisters, many of you will have no stinking branches. That's right. Because of the coronavirus, many of you will not be receiving palm branches this year. But I want to give you a sense of calm and also give you an idea to make Palm Sunday 2020 one like it's never been before. This is the Sunday lectionary. So this is where the readings from Holy Mass come from. In it, it has a section for the Palm Sunday procession. I don't know if you know this, but we have the Palm Sunday procession of Jesus entering triumphantly into Jerusalem. Uh, the, the liturgy of the church has us in a three-year cycle. So we read Matthew, Mark, and then we read uh, from John. So this year, it's year A. So the gospel passage will sound like this. A very large crowd spread cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and strew them on the road. That's Matthew. Now let's look at what Mark says. Many people spread their cloaks on the road. The others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. Okay. So now let's go to John, which is year C. We're not reading year C this year, but this is what it says. When the great crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. My brothers and sisters, we call it Palm Sunday, but I just clearly showed that both in Matthew's gospel and in Mark's gospel, it mentions nothing about palms. It just says that they cut branches from trees. And in Luke, it clearly says they spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. So here's the deal. I realize that we often have palm branches because John's gospel clearly says that they took palm branches, but two of the other gospels don't mention anything about palm branches. So here's what's amazing. If you don't have a palm branch in 2020, you're going to be just fine. You really will. If you go on pilgrimage to the Holy Land, often you'll make a Palm Sunday procession and you'll process from the top of the Mount of Olive down through the Kidron Valley up to Jerusalem. There'll be often gentlemen selling branches. In my six pilgrimages to the Holy Land, I have never once carried a palm branch in my hand. What are they always selling? Olive branches. Sometimes olive branches that are twisted together with rosemary. When I studied in Rome, for my seminary education, we didn't have palm branches. We had olive branches. I just want you to all know right now, it's okay if you don't have a palm branch. And in fact, let's face it, this isn't going to be a normal Holy Week. So I think all the more we should make it stand out like we never have before. So the Bible clearly says that there were branches, but it doesn't have to be palm branches. So. I want to give you an example right here. I just went outside, front of the office, and picked this up off the ground. Does it look like a palm branch? Sure doesn't. Just took it right off one of the shrubs, a little shrubbery. Do the same. I want you to go out. I want you to find a small little branch of some sort, and I want you to take that into your house. I want you to have it with you at Mass on Sunday. I want you to allow this branch to be in your hand. And I want you to cry out, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. My brothers and sisters, we aren't called to be trapped in these times. We're called to be creative. We're called to not be afraid. Fear kills creativity. That's not of God. In fact, what do we read about in the book of Genesis? God is the creator. What does it mean to be like God? It means to be creative. It means to think outside the box. 
So use this as an opportunity to think, how do I celebrate Holy Week? How do I bring Holy Week into my home? If I don't have a palm branch, it's fine. Read your Bible and go get a branch. That's all you need. And what's more importantly is that you present yourself to the Lord this Sunday. When did those crowds come in hundreds at the time of Jesus' entrance in Jerusalem? Why did they come? What did they come for? They came to present themselves to Jesus and say, Jesus, here I am. Jesus, we rejoice with you. Jesus, we celebrate with you. Jesus, you are the King. You are the Messiah. You are the Lord. You don't need a palm branch from your church to do that. You should do that every day. So this Palm Sunday, hold a branch. We'll call it Branch Sunday. And maybe afterwards you can have a brunch. My brothers and sisters, let's be creative. And let's live this holy, league, holy, holy week like we never have before. If we do so, with God's grace, we'll become the saints that he's calling us to be. Amen. Thank you.